What is going on, everyone? Talon back here, and today... Well, we didn't get the big, big data download, but we got a data download with a ton of stuff. So I want to be going over all of that. And then if you actually are watching this at the moment, this is like uploaded and everything, then within the next few hours, basically right before the actual celebration starts, because the celebration starts less than 24 hours, just so you guys know. And when that happens, we're going to be getting a lot of the stuff that we're talking about, not to mention the start of the grind. That is... The 66 ticket. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You're gonna get it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got you guys back. All right. So, with that being said, I thought let's start off with a little movie intro because this will actually proc in your game when 3 p.m. Japan time hits because 3 p.m. is gonna be reset time for the next month, basically. All right. So, I guess, well, you know, it's funny. I call it reset time. When it's still technically 4 a.m. Japan time, you guys get the idea, right? It's 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 the celebration reset time, essentially. But regardless, no matter what, let's shut up. Let's take a look at this little clip here. Again, shout out to all the data miners and everything. And then we're going to be going over just kind of the big important information. I'm not going to go over every single itty bitty little thing that's like, hey, this was moved slightly to the left now in this art. It's just like, oh, okay, well, what, whatever talent. The, 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 we don't want to care about that over here, okay? So anyway, so let's go and take a look at this. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how it goes. Chikara no Taikai. That's literally what it says, by the way. <laughs> the master himself. Oh, poor TN. Still using the SR. <laughs> Yeah, there's our boy. I dig it. I dig it. I really do. One thing I really do like a little kind of a nod to is uh, right here. Yeah, kak yeah. Kakarato ato wa tarondazo. This is where he threw in the anime. He threw both in the anime and the manga. Basically, he uh, he threw the uh, energy to to Goku, and you know Goku gets it, and that's essentially what helps him go UI and everything like that. So uh, I definitely found that really cool and everything. So all right. So as you guys know. We got a bunch of that download stuff and everything showing us a lot of the stuff we kind of already know. I've covered it in my other videos the last, you know, last 24 hours or so, give or take, um, on what exactly these things are. But we'll quickly just go over some of the other stuff and then some of the new stuff, obviously, we got to go over as well. So obviously, this is the brand new kind of super thank you ticket that we're going to be getting. It's supposedly supposed to work very similar to just a normal ticket gotcha banner because there are... A multi there's actually multiple versions of the not versions of these but there's multiple copies of these that you get from missions and login bonuses however we cannot access this banner until the middle of the month of february they literally said it in both the v jump video and in the little premiere thing that they had last night i translated it both times and they literally say nigatsu chu which means the middle of february so Makes perfect sense. Can't use it until the middle of February. So anyway, so that's that. We don't know exactly what the banner looks like. We don't know what you know it is, you know, all that fun stuff. But this must be the reason that we're not getting as many stones as per usual. Because as you guys know, last year we got four stones on login with one for a daily mission. So a total of five for five years. But this year we're getting three stones per login and then one through the daily mission. Which, by the way, again, that mission video, that will be coming out right before the uh the whole celebration starts like i said beforehand all right so that must mean that these tickets better be good like because if they're not i'm i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be kind of like so you guys are cheapskates basically then <laughs> that, that's that's kind of the way i'm looking at it personally because you guys know me i've gone pretty more towards the free play side so every stone I, I value every stone that i get nowadays um so yeah i don't know well the way and see exactly what these tickets are going to be if they're, if they're really awesome and everything and it's like okay for every five tickets that you have and you get a total of 50 for every five tickets you use you're guaranteed some featured S ssr that's you know dokkan fest or something i'll be like Psh, all right sign me up but you know if it's just like hey 
it's one multi that's like maybe 20 units and it has every single dokkan fest feature kind of like a ton of bata banner style thing but there are no lr Do dokkan fest exclusives on there and it's only up to like super 17 or something or so, yeah <laughs> i say super 17 but like ranger 17 or whatever i'd be like huh what are, are we are we pulling a legends here where they had those crap tickets on their step ups now you know just saying so i don't know anyway like i said before we'll have to wait and see exactly what it is all right obviously you guys know what this is 66 tickets i don't need to talk about it anymore again we'll cover that in the other missions video all right so this is a pretty cool wallpaper and this is actually what the uh intro to the game will look like from the moment that the celebration starts basically all of the participants of universal of universe seven will fly in and then you hit the start button but this is what it looks like and this is actually a wallpaper we'll be able to get don't exactly know how actually it's probably just included in the box but it could be a mission i don't know if they've done it before but regardless, um, pretty cool. I definitely like it. Um, it's very similar to how the Gohan, Gotenks, and Vegito one look from the collaborative celebration with Global. So, hey, I'm all for it. I, I really actually do like it. So, um, I do like the 17 there and everything. I like Roshi. He's going to go do Mafuba and all that kind of stuff. So, that, that's definitely cool. I like how Freeze is standing like, <laughs> sucker, boom. He looks like he'd shoot anybody. So, anyway, yeah. So, that's definitely really cool right there um but yeah okay so another thing that came along that we'll be talking about with one of the other free-to-play uh characters and everything is the lr roshi he's gonna be the goku parentheses zamas lr card like card that we got last year we only have his ur information we're gonna go over it nonetheless but we do have a brand new category which is basically the turtle squad slash hermit squad slash whatever you want to call it basically it is the goku category i'm sorry it just is okay it is the goku category yes there is master Ro other copies of master roshi in here there are yamchas in here and there are krillins and you could probably make the argument of running one of these krillins you know uh or maybe if that tech krillin ever finally gets an awakening from the baba shop or sorry not awakening an easy a you know he could be a very good kind of tech support unit if you want to do like an all goku tech team or something like that but regardless it's a Goku category. Let's just be perfectly honest here. I mean, look at all of these. Cause it's literally nothing. This page right here, aside from Grandpa Gohan, and I guess the Ox King, these are all, they're all Goku cards. It's just all Goku. That's all it is. Every single version of Goku. We're talking even, they didn't even copy the GT in here and everything. It's like, so it's like, okay. So yeah, that, that, that is what it is. So you guys let me your thoughts down below if you like the category i mean it's, it's not a bad category i mean it's got a bunch of gokus on it so as we all know goku always gets the best treatment when it comes to dokkan so yeah we'll have to wait and see what exactly what his leader skill is i'm assuming it's gonna be 77 by the time he gets his eza and everything so part one is gonna get us our dur version of him hopefully there's a category in the drop rates aren't garbage uh part two we'll probably get the lr part three we'll probably get the eza just like last year that'd be, that'd be my guess but you know i think it's a pretty good guesstimate if you want to put it that way so yeah it is what it is but all right so let's go into the new cards though because again these are data downloaded and everything like that i know truth and others have their showcases up and everything um luckily they learned their lesson so far keeping fingers crossed but they did not show the brand new units so we did not see the ui goku and we did not see the super saiyan blue evolution vegeta which is definitely really nice had that data download drop like you know during the stream right as you guys are doing that because we know the banner is going to drop right after the stream most likely this saturday so hopefully they've learned their lesson but then again it's thursday japan time we have less than 48 hours until that stream that's a lot of time for akatsuki to mess up so both wait and see but yeah anyway so let's take a look what this goku does and everything again this goku is mostly a trophy card so you shouldn't really take him too serious but regardless he's always a nice little trophy to have i mean this is our stats when he's orbed out and just you are so Anyway, let's see what he does. So he is the representative of Universe 7 category key plus three stats up 66%. This is a Kamehameha. It's a very generic Kamehameha. If you follow uh, I seriously on Twitter, he's got the super attack animation. It's the most generic uh, uh, Kamehameha you've ever seen in your life, basically. So anyway, so he does Kamehameha, he does supreme damage, and he raises his defense for six turns. Okay, uh, let's take a look what his passive does. So passive skill, attack and defense up 66%. Then from the start of the turn for six turns, then you have a high chance to dodge the enemy, and you will also get attack up 66%. And for every time that you do an attack, then you get an extra 11% attack for a total of 66. So basically, he's a pretty good attacker with some dodge in there. Um, you're not going to want to take this guy onto like extreme super battle road and let him get hit. It's just not really what you want to do. Just 
yeah, he's gonna get destroyed. But hey, again, uh, he's never been there to, you know, these these cards have never been there to help people in battles and everything. They're mostly there as trophy cards. Uh, Link Seal's pretty good though. Kamehameha, Godly Power, over in the flash, prepare for battle. Uh, experience fighter and uh, tournament of power. So yeah, yeah, kind of your typical normal stuff that you'd expect and everything like that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, so let's go into the next card. So this is a story event free to play card that will most likely get an awakening because right now both this card and this not this card this card right here we'll just move this over right here they're um particularly good but they're probably very similar to like the uh kid vegeta and raditz i believe was you from year five and then you had the kid broly so i'm assuming you know part one will just get them to their urs part two will dokkan awaken them and in part three we'll probably get them the easy area so you know kind of the typical stuff we'd expect but anyway so we've got a ten shinhan and a master roshi card they are the Sekujin, which is the Earthlings category, key plus two, so that's up 30%. And then they will do supreme damage and they lower the enemy's attack and defense. Uh, passive skill, attack and defense up 30%. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, at, for every attack that you do, your attack and defense goes up by 10% for a total of 30%. And then for your universal, or uh, representative of universe seven allies, they get attack and defense up 10%. So obviously if they're gonna get up all the way up to an EZA then, uh, basically that could be an additional potentially 30%, 40% attack and defense. So this could actually be a very good card for your representatives of universe seven card. Um, hopefully again, these guys actually do get awakened, like we're all expecting them to, but regardless, it would suck a lot if they don't. So I could definitely see them be very good for super battle road though. I definitely could. Uh, I didn't look at their, uh, links though. Yeah, kind of expected it not to be very good. But again, that one thing that is going to be helping them is the tournament of power link, which would get plus three key. So that's always really nice to have. Uh, 18 and Krillin. 18 and Krillin actually aren't bad for their passive, and I've got some high hopes for them. But they are another combination category. Key plus two, stats so up 30%. They infinitely stack their attack and do supreme damage. Hopefully that turns to attack and defense for those guys who love long events and be able to stack attack and defense just infinitely, basically. Um, let's see. Passive skill. At the beginning of the turn, you will change physical orbs into int orbs and then for every if you collect six int orbs or more then you do an additional super attack and then for every attack that you do then your attack and defense goes up by 20 percent for a total of 80 percent all right so they're not really going to see their max until then so hopefully if they get obviously an awakening and eca then they're going to do something like get some start of the turn attack and defense and then get some extra stuff in there we'll have to wait and see but again this is just simply them at ur uh again links are kind of iffy but regardless they do get that power uh terminated power link so that's always really nice uh, but i like the art though it's it's, it's cute it, it, it really is so I'm, I'm i'm down for that i really am all right then finally this is the lr card that we'll be getting later obviously he is a tur right now so we'll get the lr in part two easy a in part three again following what year th five had and everything uh but this is the brand new lr roshi who again brings that category that we showed off earlier and uh let's see what he does so at his ur tur state he gives 50 percent attack and defense and hp to all to, to his category Again, most likely become 77%, just like the Zamas Goku. Let's see, uh, he will greatly raise his attack for one turn. He does, in this state, supreme damage. You know he'll do colossal and everything. And then a medium chance to stun, so that's definitely really cool. Uh, a defense up 80% with a medium chance to dodge the enemy's attack. And then, let's see, for your allies that are in his category that are on the team with you, they get plus one key and attack and defense up 20%. All right, yeah, so yeah, me got Mikata, no. Yeah, okay, so yeah, all allies on his own category, essentially. Key plus one, attack and defense up 20%, which, huh, that means when he eventually gets to EZA, that could be something like 30, 35%, maybe even 40? My dig it. I can, I can get behind that. All right. I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, that's basically about it in terms of the data download and everything. I, I know I know there's some other stuff. Um, there was like the the new uh, God of Destruction event that is basically going to be some kind of like hard, kind of like easy or uh, extreme super battle road type stage that's going to be coming out. They are breaking that up in the three part, three or four parts. It's like three or four parts. But basically, stage one will be the first four uh, universes that you fight against and then the second stage will be the next set and then the next set and the next set essentially so uh you get some you get five stones for every one that you defeat and then it also goes towards getting that memory support item 
that is the Zenos. So that's something right there. I don't think there's anything else really big. I, I looked through everything, but I was just like, there's so much stuff in here. Um, so if I've missed anything, then just let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, guys, that should basically be about it. So anyway, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Again, all the missions for part one, I'm going to translate right now after recording this. But by the time you're seeing it up on YouTube live and everything, I'll have it pinned on my Twitter. And if you still can't find it somehow after being pinned on my Twitter, then you'll probably see it in the recommended or something like that. But regardless, I'll have all the missions so that you know exactly how many tickets you're getting from part one. Because again... They're stretching this out just like they stated before into three parts. So that means we'll not get the 66 ticket until part three, which is probably going to be around 19th or 20th, give or take, if I had to take a wild guess. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the video, though. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you have to be new. Until next time, everyone, I will see you all in the next one. Johnny.